everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel, The Sims 4 Disney Princess Legacy Challenge Season 3. I said it right this time. It's been a while since I've been able to record because I was sick for over a week. So it was pretty ridiculous. Um, so pardon me as I'm getting back into the swing of things. Um, but we are awake this morning and Aurora is actually playing in the bathtub and I actually didn't know you could do this So she had a toy in her inventory and so because of that she's able to play in the bathtub with Chompy Now I wonder if he can do it too or if the other kids can because they don't have toys in their inventory But any cute um, So yeah, we are going to be doing something fun today because okay. I know it's a couple days but uh, we're going to throw our major birthday party today and uh, have them all age up. That's what we're going to do today. Nancy's going to be an elder. Um, Oren, oh no, not Oren. Arthur is going to be a teenager. Same with Luke and Henry. We're all going to age up this afternoon. So we're going to be throwing a big family party. We're going to be inviting all our family who's ever left alive because uh, most of them are dead. Um, oh, no! Oh my god, Nancy. Grobal. Oh, see, now you got eaten by the cow plant, and it's just all so gross and terrible. Oh my lord. Go take a bubble bath um we're gonna come um i guess socialize with our brother or something let's joke about toilets and monkey around and impishly pester um oh my god poor nancy lord jesus um so yeah it's gonna be super exciting it's uh it's getting slow i feel like it's getting slow i'm kind of run i find um I don't know what to do in the times where I'm not needed to do something for the challenge specifically. So it's something I'm kind of struggling with. So if you have uh, storyline suggestions that um, won't make us go too far off from the challenge, but I'm thinking we don't need to be so strict with the challenge that we can have some leeway. And what I was kind of thinking of doing was also switching up the households once in a while. I know it's not part of the Legacy Challenge, but um, I've been watching a lot of Urban Sims and her Legacy Challenge, her Springsteen Legacy Challenge, and she jumps around households, and I mean, like, she's just an amazing storyteller and an amazing simmer and YouTube creator in general. Um, and so I kind of want, I'm inspired by her. Um, and so maybe because I want Nancy to move out. And I know Nancy's going to be older, but we'll have Arthur to kind of go and chat with. And Arthur is a, like, I don't know, he, I want to spend time with him. He looks like such a fun and adorable kid that I just, I need to be a part of his life still. So let me know what you guys think about that. And if you have storyline suggestions for any of the Sims that we can maybe explore a little bit, do let me know. Uh, I think I need to make some drama happen or something or just like, just get it going, you know? Get it going. But it is nine o'clock. We are going to um, get everyone to, you know, take care of themselves a little bit. Um, and I want None of them are going to finish their uh, aspirations, which, you know what, it's fine, it's whatever. Um, Henry is a not a morning sim, so I should not have gotten him the morning sim thing, because he sleeps in all the time, just like a creative person would, you know? And the house is a complete disaster. The maid better come today before our party, because the house needs to be cleaned hardcore. Um... Yeah, I'm going to throw this drink in the trash. Because, um, yeah, the one thing that I want is um, we're going to age up Nancy, and then her and Josh and Arthur are going to move into a house, and I've placed a house for them that hopefully they'd be able to afford. Um, or I might just put them in there using cheats, the free real estate. 
um, just because I am getting worried about Nancy and Oren, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the two of them are going to stop talking. They do work together still, so just because um, she moves out doesn't mean that they could not continue to see each other, uh, so it is something that's um, intriguing me. Um, so Miss Tatiana, I almost called her Titiana, whoa. We're going to come take a bubble bath because that's going to be fun for us and for, um, and get our uh, stuff up. We want to flirt with Oren and watch a cooking show. She's feeling super uncomfortable. Uh, and we do got to get some gardening done before the party because our plants are uh, not happy right now. And our cow plant has some milk that we need to drink, drinky drank. Drinky, dranky, drink. Um, so I guess he's going to come practice typing. May as well get his motor skills up. Um, the kids all want to socialize with their dad really badly. Oh, he's going to go play with the cow plant. <laughs> and he scolds him just a little bit. Um, mm, you don't have to do your homework, boo. But we, um, I'm super excited for these boys to age up. Luke is just a little haughty McCaughty. Like, he's going to be such a dreamboat. Arthur, he reminds me of Snow White so freaking much. I'm super excited for that. Um, and uh, Henry, I'm excited for him too because he's also a cutie in that kind of nerdy, quiet way. So I am getting excited about all of this. But I don't know where our maid is. I swear we hired one. Get okay, cancel maid service. So they should be here now. It's like 1130. I don't know. Okay. Can we do the carol of cleaning and see what happens? Wow, this bubble bath is giving us zero fun. We're not amused by it at all. Kane would like to come over. Sure, why not? <clears throat> no one is clean. Oh, I think Aurora is cleaning. Okay. Uh, so we're going to practice... Um, and Henry, or no, Arthur. Arthur's gonna come greet Kane. Yeah, I know it's almost the kids' birthdays. You know, you can be eating and, uh, eat blueberry bagel and watch current channel. There you go. And we're feeling focused for some odd reason. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's up with this maid service. Is the maid somewhere? Like, is the maid around? Okay, can we, um, cancel the maid service? There are no maids on our lot, so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let's just hire a maid. One-time maid to come in. We're feeling sick right now, but I do believe there's medicine in here. Uh, so let's put this in our inventory and uh, take it. What? The maid will arrive Monday at 10.05? What? No. <laughs> I want a maid right now. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to have to do mad cleaning. Everyone's going to team work right now. We're going to use and clean Nancy. He's going to come upstairs. We're going to uh, mop everything. Arthur needs to pee really bad. Okay, is that all we have to clean? Isn't the kitchen a hot mess? I don't know. Uh, and then we got to throw our party, so... I think that's all. Okay, I think that's all. Okay, get... Um, Tiana to use this toilet and then clean it and then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to cancel this maid service because we don't need it no more and then hire a full-time service and then plan a social event oh my god what oh my god she went to work and she didn't even oh my god do we have work today no we have today off okay well 
Tiana's like, I can't be here for my family's birthday, apparently. She's, okay, you know what? No, that's fine. Tiana's like, I've taken way too much time off. I just possibly can't take another day. I need to focus on my career. So she went, even though it's both of her son's birthdays, it's her nephew's birthday and it's her sister's birthday. It's a lot of people's birthdays. Um, she's going to work, even though she has the vacation time. She has used so much time, though, and she has n she is not where she wants to be in her career right now. She's still way too low. She's only head caterer. So she's like, I need to go to work. And, you know, the family's really not happy with that. No one's really happy with that. But... It's what it is, you know? So, we're a guest. We're a guest. Um, Josh is a guest. Gus is a guest. I guess these guys are guests. Apparently, we don't know our cousins. So, Jasmine will be our thing. And then, um, we'll have Moses. And let's get a caterer. A popper caterer. Let's get this Catlin Sperantino. And it's going to be here. Oh my god, but we want to make a group meal, of course. So let's clean out the spoiled food. This is not even cleaned. This is going to be the main toilet of our guests. Uh, but she's going to go ahead and work hard, even though she's um, she's feeling really tense right now. Uh, but that's okay. She's only tense because um, she hasn't been promoted in a while. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to make fish tacos really quickly before the caterer comes in and, like, ruins everything <laughs> and Josh is here oh no this is Dylan that we're talking to but uh, Josh should be around and I do need Nancy to you know talk with him some more Arthur should definitely talk with him apparently oh he is talking with him that's nice him and his father's relationship has gone down quite a bit his father hasn't been around lately uh, so we're gonna ask for typing tips we're going to enthuse about candy, pop culture reference, go to cartoon character because he's a funny, goofball-y type kid. And Naveen's here, and there's our um, our entertainer with the mad, mad sideburns and no hair. <clears throat> so our person made a birthday cake for us. So we have uh, something to, uh, you know, blow out the candles. Uh, we want to play musical instruments for one hour. Well, we're out here playing with uh, Luke. <laughs> That's really cute that the two of them are spending time together. Um, so Oren's kind of feeling like he's he's chatting with Nancy. You know, he, he, he likes Nancy. Him and Nancy get along a lot. They have a lot in common. Um, and Nancy's really, she's really sad that Tiana is, um, not here to celebrate the birthday, and she feels terrible for her son, for her nephews, Luke and Henry. Oren is pretty peeved as well that Tiana's not here, um, but Tiana's super focused on work. She's like, I have to get it done. Um, and Oren's just, Oren doesn't understand it, and him and Nancy are, like, right here talking to each other, and, um... Nancy's going to go ahead. She's going to chat with Gus a little bit. We're going to joke about weird animals. Um, we're going to complain. Complain about um, about work, but we're going to really be complaining about Tiana. Um, this guy, he's like, this room is a hot, hot mess, and I don't know where he thinks that is. He needs to get off the computer, though. He's like me. Family's over. JK, I'm going to be on my computer all day. <laughs> Um, we want to play games at the same time, so why don't we have, um, him play with, uh, his dad some chess. Uh, is that Henry or Luke? That's Luke taking a bath? Luke is just taking a bubble bath right now. No a big deal. Uh, we're eating some fish tacos and chatting with this Catlin Sparantino person. But so far, everyone's having a decent time at the party. It's already halfway through, though, so we do have to blow out our candles. Compliment the birthday sim. Oh, Lord Jesus. Well, 
It told me to. It. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Naveen is feeling um, no love from Tiana lately. Like, not a lot. Like, they ha they do- they go through the motions, but she's so focused on her work and career. Um, and Nancy, she's just always there. Oh my god, we did it. Um, and, uh, we'll congratulate her. And let's give her a compliment. <laughs> if I can. <laughs> I don't think I can. <clears throat> can we, uh, we'll congratulate him and give him a heartfelt compliment. And we'll come give, um, Arthur a heartfelt compliment. And see if we can get, um, hmm, play game. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so what we need to do is get him to stop that. Let's thank him for coming. You need to move out the way. That's what you need to do. Just want you to know... So what we're gonna do right now is he's gonna come make a wish and age up now and we're gonna age up everyone everyone's gonna age up right now um but yeah Oren and Nancy are getting like really really close what okay come make a wish So he's coming to age up, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's so handsome. Okay. So because he is always on the computer and stuff, I think he's going to be a computer whiz. So he's going to be a bit of a goofball, but he's also really a big geek. He loves video games. And, you know, he's going to be kind of a streamer and an entertainer at the same time, all online. No. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to come here. And... If we can get him to, uh... okay. So now we're gonna come make a wish. I'm so excited for Luke. Luke, come on, buddy, you can blow out the candles. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he's self-assured. He's our little hottie, Mick hottie. Um, he's going to be self-assured. And, um... Mm. I kind of want him to be... Oh, no, not a geek. I want him to be a bro. I like don't do the bro trade all that much. So I want him to be a bro. And he's going to be uh, a party animal. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and then, oh, look who showed up. Did she even get promoted? No, her performance is actually going down. So she's like really unhappy right now. So she's going to go ahead, uh, cook some food. She's going to make... Uh, Capri salad for everyone and uh, resume the BLT or whatever uh, and then we're gonna have him come here he's gonna make a wish come on Henry he's a stinky bum the party's gonna end unfortunately okay 
So he is still going to be our artistic sim. He's going to be a painter. Uh, no. He's going to be an author. And he's going to be, he's a loner. Um, and... A bookworm. Shoot. <clears throat> okay, cool. And now last, but definitely not least, is Miss Nancy. And the party's over, unfortunately. Uh, but that's okay. She can still come down here. And we are going to age her up, and she's going to be an elder right now. Oh, my God. <clears throat> come on, Nancy. Oh, Aurora is so cute. Her hair doesn't change, though. So we're going to uh, go right now. Oh, my God. You see she's gotten a little saggy and everything. She still looks really good for her age, though. Um, so we're all going to call to meal. We're going to eat some cake. And apparently we're eating this. But Tiana's going to um, work right now. And Oren's a little irked at her, so he's going to... Um, He's going to give her the cold shoulder right now, just because he's kind of really upset with her. And she's like, what? I don't get it. I have to go to work. Why are you being like that? But, you know. You know he's, he, he is upset with her. He's very upset with her. Um, yeah, he wants to be funny, and he wants to lock his door. But too bad he uh, shares his room with his brothers. Uh, so I will have to upgrade... Uh, their room but first off I want to hop into create a sim and I thought you guys might like um, coming into create a sim with me as well and giving all of them a makeover it might be a little fun it also might be a little tedious um, I think I will go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and do it off camera and then show you what I've done with them all so I'll see you guys in a couple seconds Alrighty guys, I'm finally done. So Nancy is gray haired. Ugh. And old as anything. Oh my god, it hurts my heart. Uh, oh, excuse me. So I've kind of reverted her back to her style when she was a child and a teenager. Which was very super casual and super comfy. So she's just wearing like a gray hoodie and jeans and chucks. And um, she's wearing significantly less makeup. She's just wearing some blush and lip gloss. And yeah, and looking really good for her age. She's really thin. Um, yeah, she's just living life. So this is Arthur. So Arthur is our gamer guy. And can I tell you, he is ripped. Like he is so, and all of these boys have the thinnest waists I've ever seen seen in my life but I will show you how ripped he is look at his body and look at that butt he is a stud and a half holy Jesus holy bananas like look oh my god he's a teenager remember he's a teenager he's a teenager keep your eyes off um but I put him in the gamer shirt and he's just also super casual uh Luke is right here he looks a lot like his dad right now a lot like his dad. Um, <clears throat> I think he even has his dad's hair. Uh, so he is wearing like this dark, he's kind of like our bad boy, right? So he, he knows he's good looking, he knows he's hot stuff, and so he's, you know, dressing kind of badass uh, with dark jacket. And yeah. Here is Henry, and I really like his look. He is our artistic loner bookworm type oh, oh. sim. Uh, so he's wearing this like fluorescent jacket and bright pink shirt and then black pants and um, hiker boot type things or like uh, combat boots. Um, his style is just very, very different. And um, he has this like emo hair thing going on, which I really like on him. Uh, but him and uh, his brother look a lot alike. They didn't look as much. Al oh my god, my mom. Uh, they don't look as much alike when they were children, but definitely as teenagers, they look a lot alike. Um, and I've left everyone else the exact same. So there we go. So uh, back to. Uh, 
time to, I think I'm going to wrap up this part um, here and next part we will move Nancy and Josh and Arthur into their house. Um, maybe spend a little bit of time with them uh, just to help them settle in and get used to everything. And then we'd come back in time for Aurora to age up in six days for sure with some time to spare. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying this series, please do give it a fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos as I put them out fairly regularly. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.